welcome to a special episode of the A-List Movie Club. I am your host, the game changer, Wes Truth. And as always, with me tonight, or today, it's odd, is our Dominic <laughs> and John. How's it going today, guys? Good. Good and happy Easter to everybody. We are filming yes. Easter. Yes. And happy Easter, uh, everyone. Happy Easter out there in YouTube land <laughs> or wherever you're watching. Uh, so this is what I call an emergency review. <laughs> Jokingly, it's not like, uh, but we all happen to see uh, the newest movie that came out in theaters slash HBO Max this week. And uh, that is Godzilla versus Kong. So since we all saw it, we thought, let's get on here and talk about what we thought. So when, when Godzilla surprises all of humankind and starts wreaking havoc among us for reasons unknown, a group of scientists search for a power source in a mysterious location known as Hollow Earth. The scientists decide to try to get the massive Titan Kong to get the source, but of course, Kong and Godzilla end up coming face to face and the Titans clash. And this movie, of course, was directed by Adam Wingard, who directed a film we reviewed not too long ago, The Guest, uh, and Your Next, is the two movies he's best known for. Now it'll probably be the... <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> I I also find it funny that the guest has been haunting John the last few days <laughs> or weeks or whatever it's been. A movie I never heard of. He didn't even know it existed until you mentioned it. Find it on Netflix and now I've seen the DVD everywhere. Maybe that guy's stalking me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Stevens. <laughs> Dan Stevens. He ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> so, uh, who wants to go first? I will. <laughs> yeah, you can tell he well, can't wait. I was really looking forward to this. I love King Kong. I love Godzilla. Um, although, after Godzilla, King of the Monsters, I didn't hold high hopes for it because I figured they're probably, they obviously just hired. A homeless guy to write the script. I mean, <laughs> obviously, and uh, you know, today who who cares? They're coming to see the, the special effects, which were awesome. The special effects and the fight scenes were great. The acting, oh my god! You know, I, I Millie Bobby Brown, a wannabe Hermione Granger, basically. You know. She, she can't act her way out of the paper. Um, and Alexander Skarsgård, Jesus Christ. He was there just collecting and paycheck, you know? And then all the other unknowns in there, they got these guys. I, I think they went to the unemployment lines. Hey, you want, you want to make a movie? Yeah. Oh, it was terrible. It was just terrible. The, the, story, the story was terrible. The special effects were great. Kong Godzilla were great, and then there's the Mega Godzilla, and it's not really a monster; it's a machine. What the? And then they go to they go to Hollow Earth. No, because the Earth's core is not molten magma and shit. No, it's a <laughs> little jungle bug down there. It's full of pterodactyls. Yeah, full of pterodactyls and all the other little happy, <laughs> happy shit. It was the same place that Aquaman went to halfway through his movie. <laughs> obviously, obviously. Um, yeah, this was this was. I this mean, the was, Earth is flat, so how do we have a? <laughs> this, 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 uh, this is this is uh, this is uh, this movie was uh, it kind of equates to walking into a bathroom at at a at Walmart, opening the stall, and there's a turd in the toilet. You know, that's that's what that's what this movie was to me, honestly. Wow. 
That's an but honest I, review. <laughs> I love the special effects. I love when Kong and Godzilla were on the screen. That was great. But I mean, everything else was just a bunch of horseshit. I hope the movie takes on your tagline for the for the movie. It's like walking into the bathroom stall at Walmart. <laughs> 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 I can see that on the trailer. <laughs> That'd be on the cover of the DVD. Yeah. <laughs> John, you actually got to go to the theater to see this. <laughs> yes. yeah, I don't have any HBO Max, so. Yeah. So how was it? I know you said you went to go see Wonder Woman 84 in the theater. How was it getting back to the theater? Good. Yeah. It was good. Um, I went to two different theaters. They were sold out. And the third theater I went to had plenty of seats. It was like 12 people in the whole theater. Wow. Yeah. And do they have it like the six feet? In yeah, they have seats that are roped off or taped off and you can't sit. But the yeah. whole row in front of my row was blocked off. So they kind of had like that, like staggered every other row. That makes I think sense. it was like four or five seats and then there was like two empty and then four or five seats, you know. Probably half okay. capacity if it was full. Yeah. I was talking about this yesterday with uh, Cinema Sickness because he asked if I'd see the new one. I said, yeah. And he said, oh, how is it? And I said, well, when the monsters are fighting, it's a great movie. But when they're not fighting and the humans are on the screen, it's not a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, I said, yeah. yeah. The, 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 all the spaces in between the monsters is just boring. <laughs> There's nothing going on. The people suck. I like the monsters more. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually kind of rooting for them to start killing people. Like, yeah, the three this, this is how humans act. We don't deserve to live. Just wipe us out. Just go. We're done. What? What? What's and I discussed this, and I said like, it's the same characters. They all have the same personal problems. You know, the, the podcast nut job. His wife died. Millie Bobby Brown. Her mom died. The little deaf girl. Her parents were killed. Like everybody has the same story. <laughs> Even the Japanese guy. Had someone that yeah. died. Alexander Skarsgård's <laughs> brother died. Yeah, they all have. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't even think of that. <laughs> and then you know, Millie Bobby Brown is trying to save Godzilla, and Rebecca Hall's trying to save Kong. Like it's literally the same characters. Right. Yeah. yeah. I was disappointed. Yeah, I was too. I, I didn't hold out a lot of hope for it because I honestly think that they really screw with these movies too much. Um, Studio oh, uh, interference. What are you talking about? I said studio interference like the Justice well, League yeah, or Suicide I, Squad. If, if, you know, spend some money on a writer. You know, I mean, write a compelling story, backstory. Write compelling characters, something like that. Write characters that people care about. It's like, I don't know. I, to me, it was just poorly done. Now, I, I kind of just thought of something. It's kind of like how I felt about Rogue One. Rogue One was, a, was an okay movie, oh, I guess. But <laughs> didn't, everyone died at the end. So you did. Man, is this review full of spoilers? <laughs> Everyone died. At, if they haven't seen Rogue One by now, then they're idiots. So, uh, you know, uh, everyone died. You didn't have a chance to get emotionally involved with the characters. You didn't uh, have a chance to like them, to dislike them, or anything like that. It was just like this movie. Who cares about characters? I mean, you don't. You don't care about them. And 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 they the studio seemed to realize it. Hey, they're only coming to see Kong and Godzilla fight. So who gives a shit about what they the the people part does? You know. Well, to that point, yeah, I'd say look at Jurassic Park. That would not have been the great movie that it came to be if no one cared about. Ian Malcolm or Dr. Grant or 
Ellie, you know, and Doc, uh, John Hammond. But yeah, the two kids. I can't. I you know I know them. They roll right off my tongue. Those names. These people, I couldn't tell you any of their names, and I got the review sitting right here. <laughs> so it's like, why, why can't they make likable characters in any of these movies? I like oh. Godzilla, and I like Kong Skull Island. Yeah, right. They both were good, but all the sequels since then have just not been good. Right. Yeah. It's exactly. been on like a downward decline ever since those. Like they get worse as it goes on. Well, I like this a little better than King of Monsters, but <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm just wondering if when Godzilla or Kong were walking through the streets and stuff like that, what if they took a shit? How would they clean that up? What do you get guys? What are you gonna do? Get guys with picks and shovels shoveling it into the back of pickup trucks or what? Think I about guess, it. You know, they destroyed a city, so I guess that would go with that cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you want to pick up a Godzilla turd? <laughs> Maybe they uh, just... I was going to say, yeah, when, when the movie starts with Kong scratching his ass, I kind of knew what kind of movie this was going to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, you know, when, like you guys said, Kong versus Godzilla is a good part. The CGI for both characters, I think, is incredible. Um, and I know we'll get comments, oh, you know, we're not here for the humans. But we're the, they're the ones that we're saddled with for 75% of this movie. <laughs> so really, we have to review the humans because they take up most of the runtime. Um, uh, just like Dominic said about the only likable character I found was Jaya, the young deaf girl who communicates with Kong. Uh, the rest of the humans, horribly annoying or boring. I didn't like the, the two characters who speak just in wisecracks or one-liners, every line. Um, and for anyone, to go back to Star Wars, any fan of this movie who criticizes Rey, uh, <laughs> because... Millie Bobby Brown's character here is the be-all, end-all Mary Sue <laughs> that just happens to know everything. Um, and I thought the human villains were incredibly lame. All the comedy is forced and is, the jokes are awful. I didn't laugh once. Um, the story sucks. I feel like there's a terrific 25-minute cut that could be done of this movie. <laughs> like the four hour Snyder cut this would be a 25 minute cut the other way <laughs> of uh, compressing everything <laughs> maybe like a YouTube edit but yeah I mean a very mixed bag for me with this one so the girl that plays the deaf girl really is deaf yeah um, it takes place five years after Godzilla King of the Monsters and 51 years after Kong Skull Island in the timeline. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, Godzilla is supposed to be 393 feet long, or uh, tall, sorry. And King Kong is 336 feet. Whatever that's worth. Dominic, didn't you notice in the movie that they were different sizes at certain times? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, now Kong looks bigger. <laughs> Earned over $122 million over its opening weekend, which is still going. <laughs> One thing I thought was interesting is that we didn't bring up is that this really was uh, King Kong's movie, and Godzilla, like, sort of was a cameo. <laughs> Really was. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I guess because Godzilla's had two movies already, Kong's only had the one. Right. Yeah. So kind of his sequel, I guess. Yeah. So I feel like if someone's like a humongous Godzilla fan and not a fan of King Kong, they might be disappointed with that too. <laughs> yeah. There's so many things to be disappointed about with this movie. I don't think that's going to make a whole bunch of difference. That's true. 
None of the characters from Kong Skull Island are in this movie. Yeah, I well, figured they'd, they'd be dead. old or dead. Yeah. Um, I the guy with the uh, Pacific Rim hat <laughs> that was controlling Mecha Godzilla is yeah. supposed to be the son of Ken Watanabe's character. That's who that's supposed to be. From Godzilla. Mm-hmm. But they don't mention that at all. We're just supposed to know that. Oh, we didn't talk about that the uh the girl, the the hot chick that was the the villain's daughter. Oh whatever. yeah. El- Elsa Gonzalez. I don't know who she is, but she was pretty. Uh I looked up her IMDB. The only thing I've seen her in was Baby Driver. <laughs> oh, I never saw that. Yeah. All right, let's rate them. I'm starting. Let's rate this turd. Let's see on what side of history we end up on with this review. (laughs) There's there's two ways you can review this movie. One, for when the monsters are on, and two, when the people are on. So (laughs) when the monsters are on, it's an eight. Okay? When the people are on, it's a zero. (laughs) (laughs) So that is out to a four. <laughs> wow. Wow. I was going to say the same thing. When, if we're just talking about the monster battles, it's an eight. That's a great movie. But when yeah. they're not on and it's the humans carrying the film, man, the drop in quality. It's pretty bad when the monsters are the better actors. <laughs> right. So I'm with you, Dolph. It's probably an eight and then maybe a five for me. So. What's that come out to as an average? 13 divided by 2 is what, six and a half? Oh, God, no. Oh, my God, John. It's probably a five total. Okay, five total. Okay, I'll, five, I'll give you yeah. that. Um, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be nice, a little nicer. And oh, because geez. I did really, huh? <laughs> God, I to God, we got to cut this guy out of this and just do this. It's not getting an eight or a nine. <laughs> Oh, seven. I'm going to give him seven. No, it's only it, seven just three quarters. barely give it, I give it a positive review for what you come to see. Uh, like I said, maybe wait till YouTube makes a 25 minute version of it, but <laughs> and cuts out all the bull crap. But um, I'm going to give it a six. Just a do it. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> this to me gets a, not even this uh, it gives a lick my nut that's what my, my <laughs> do you guys think this is worse than King of Monsters I don't I do I gave King of Monsters a meh that's why I gave this a do it because I liked it a little more uh, they're about the same to me they're both yeah they both yep just like my wedding night, disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go bowling on your wedding night? <laughs> I should have. I'd have had more fun. <laughs> uh, so as per usual, we'll be back with uh, our usual A-list uh, movie review. Um, God, what's next? Oh, The Crow is coming up next. Yeah. That, that John pick. So that'll be this week. So, uh, John, uh, until then, you want to talk about a little bit about your podcast? Yeah, We Like Wrestling Podcast. It's a, a weekly podcast of four guys sitting around talking about wrestling, past, present, classic tape reviews, tournaments. Uh, we're on Apple, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you find podcasts. We have uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, yes, <laughs> We Like Wrestling Podcast. Make sure I got I thought I forgot something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And of course, for me, you can subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Got a whole lot of new reviews coming up. I'll do the classic A-list review of Kong versus Godzilla, where I'll go a little more in depth, I guess. Uh, why, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some, some other uh, new reviews coming up soon. Tom and Jerry, which proves I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, <laughs> you can... You can also like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash West True Bayless, and follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram 
at Wes A-List. Until next time, truth out.